Yeah, and you can tell by Mason Fowler going with the, basically a tie clinch on the neck right from the get-go, really hammering down on the head of, of Patrick Gaudio. Yeah, and it looked like Gaudio, he just, like, I'm not going to deal with that, dude. I'm just going to sit down. I, I can understand why. <laughs> Gaudio with this knee shield. We saw that in his first matchup. Look at that hip switch by Fowler. Same, so quick. Same. Fowler giving him some space, having him move back to the center of the mat. I mean, check, check I think how calm Gaudio He's very calm, and you got to have that kind of composure. Maybe Mason's trying to get him out of his element by hammering down on his head, playing some hard hands, something you see a lot of wrestlers do. You start roughing your opponent up, you kind of shake him out of their game, and you can see Gaudio's not having any of it. Yeah, doing a great job just keeping himself super. His movements are just so, like, soft and smooth. He just doesn't look like he could possibly be ruffled at all. Mason stalking him from the outside, looking for a way to create an opening so that he can get in and pass tight. He wants to get into this chest-to-chest -chest passing position, try to force his way into the half guard, but of course, Gaudio keeping that knee shield in, staying up on one hip, and not really making that easy for Mason, but Mason takes an underhook and tries to create something. Gaudio, here we oh, go. You can, you can tell that Mason wants that inside position inside the knee shield so he can get to that underhook. You can tell he wanted to get inside that knee shield. And I like that he's got two different game plans for both his opponents. Different approach than what, he, than what we saw in his first match. Man, and Mason went hunting for the back. It was a good counter by Gaudio. And during the counter, he almost showed the triangle. And Mason going to play a little rubber guard here as he finds himself on the bottom, getting into this meat hook position. This is where Gaudio's composure comes into play is he was able to get out of that position where Mason was trying to chase the back, finds himself on top, starting to get in the advantageous position. Mason is power. a very good rubber guard player. He has finished a lot of matches with his rubber guard. And there he look, he sets it up the triangle using the meat hook oh, to get into the position. It. Trying to make the adjustment here is Gaudio. He's going to finish that, guys. Or is Fowler, rather. Gaudio in a bunch of trouble. I think he might be tapping. I, th I thought I saw a tap. I thought I did, too. No, I don't think so. I think he's still in the mix right there. But the head's a little bit shallow. He might be going out, though. Tap! There's the tap. Oh. Nicely done. Mason Fowler. Wow. Able to wrap up a spot in the finals. Wow. Nicely done by the Submission Underground champion. Shining tonight here inside the Apex. Mason. Two for two on Submission wins. Mason using the rubber guard to get into the triangle. And that was phenomenal. Just old school meat hook to triangle. Let's make this one official. Here's Justin. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes, 32 seconds, your winner by referee stoppage, submission via triangle and advancing to the finals, Mason Fowler. Mason Fowler getting it done. Triangle choke submission of Patrick Gaudio.